people in Beaver County woke up this morning to alerts on their phones about poor air quality. It caused a lot of concern, especially among those who are older or have asthma. So people went on social media in hopes of finding some answers. KBK's Shelly Bortz joins us now to explain what it was all about. Shelly. Yeah, well, people were extremely worried. They woke up this morning to red colored air quality maps and high numbers. Now we're talking 400 and higher, which means hazardous conditions. But we found out later there was no need for alarm. Our region ranks high in having the worst air quality in the world. Pollution from industry and traffic are tough on lungs, and Pittsburgh's topography makes it worse. So when folks woke up this morning to this angry colored map and air quality numbers in the hundreds, it sent them into a panic. We got a lot of industry down here, a lot of plants, a lot of emissions that are still being pumped up through the air, and we got the sun irradiation, we got we got the airplanes dropping their stuff. None of it's good. KDKA immediately started making calls to the health department and the DEP to get to the bottom of this and inform our viewers. Allegheny County Health Department released a statement in part. When there is a weather inversion, that is when a layer of warmer air traps pollution close to the ground, as often happens overnight at this time of the year, the apps overpredict the PM 2.5 levels until late morning. Currently and throughout the morning, our monitors have measured good to moderate air quality levels for OM 2.5, SO2, and ozone. Then the Department of Environmental Protection sent KDKA a statement informing us the erroneous air quality readings were because of an equipment malfunction at the DEP Beaver Falls Monitoring Station. They say in part, the issue was with monitor for PM10 or inhaled particles and the equipment issue has been corrected. Other DEP air monitors across western Pennsylvania were reading between 10 and 20 micrograms per cubic meter of PM10, which is well under the standard and would be considered in the good air quality range. While improving air quality is still a work in progress, the health department and DEP are working to make more information available to people who are affected by poor air quality. My mother, she has asthma and during you know the spring season it was a lot worse for her to breathe around here and things like that to the point where we just didn't have her come out to Monaco. Now experts continue to look at ways to reduce pollution and say paying close attention to air quality conditions will help keep you safe. Reporting live in Beaver County tonight, Shelley Bortz, KDKA News.